Speech language pathology is an allied medical profession. We work with um, the doctors and other health professionals. So we are solely devoted no, to the diagnosis, assessment, rehabilitation of individuals with communication problems. It can be in speech, in language, or even in swallowing. We struggle with some of the misconceptions. Like for example, they say that naglalaro lang naman sila, kaya natin yan. Because on, on the get-go, when you see the practice, it's really as if we're just talking to children, we're playing with them, but they don't know that there is a science to it. For example, children with cleft lip and palate, so they have voice problems also, they have nasality problems, and then you have children with autism, they cannot communicate. We have the voice patients, those who have uh, voice abuse. We have also stroke patients who, after the stroke, has the inability to either, you know, uh, listen, understand, or comprehend what the message is given to them. And then there are some of them who uh, can't even swallow. So that's also another area that um, the speech language pathologists work in, among others. Uh, there are certain protocols that we actually um, work on. So like for example, in language, if we say that there is a delay in language, what we compare it with are the skills of um, the children that we see as compared to the typical growing children. So like for example, let's say by six, they should not have any more problems with, let's say, saying their Fs okay or their s's i have to clarify that regional differences do not count as disorders okay but let's say a four-year-old cannot say th or th that's still okay because that's not yet in their development scheme so for example when a three-year-old is, is just speaking in one word that's a cause for red flag for us so those are the types of um, assessments also that we do and there are also of course instrumental instrumentation that we use for certain types. You know. It breaks our hearts no, that when, let's say, something very typical like cleft lip and palate, mataas pa rin ang incidence niyan sa atin. Eh. Hindi porket may disability yung bata, iiwan mo na lang sa bahay. Ii Tapos hindi na siya isasama. No? Or hindi na siya papapasukin sa skwelahan. Or wala ng service na pwede. We see them um, being ridiculed in comedy shows, imitated, they don't understand that A, it can be helped, that something can be done. That's one thing that the public needs to be educated. But that's the thing that we want to push forward, that a, a child can, you know, there are no limits. You know, we are the ones setting limits. We have to see what can they do and hopefully family and the, and the professionals take them there.